Good day, YouTube. Today I'm doing just a bit of a quick, cheap and nasty comparison between Manjaro Linux version 21 on the left-hand side here versus Kubuntu 22.04 on the right-hand side here. Now, we'll firstly say that these are actually both running on the KDE Plasma desktop environment there, so you will find some similarities indeed here. But in terms of the back-end, so Manjaro is actually running on the Arc uh, Linux desktop environment, uh, sorry, Arc Linux base or back-end, whereas Kubuntu uh, is running on Ubuntu as the back-end, so no surprises there. Now, having a look at the start menu, it is pretty much the same, I only mean, there's slightly different color tones and accents uh, based on the color scheme for each of the desktops there, or the the operating systems, but uh, basically you've got your games, your graphics, your internet apps, multimedia apps for both of them there, so nothing too crazy. Right click and we can see that uh, Kubuntu seems to maintain a bit of a dark mode there, so that's nice to see, but otherwise these context menus on the desktop are very much the same. Uh, moving on to the, the green file manager and the blue file manager as expected, really keeping consistent with their color tones there. And uh, oh, I'm really enjoying this. So they are both working on the Dolphin file manager. This is a uh, synonymous or pretty much a de facto standard with, with any uh, KDE Plasma desktop environment as we have here. But uh, I just love how uh, Kubuntu, as by default, happens to go with the, the dark mode there. So that's really nice to see. So it's just... Um just looks nicer in my opinion there, but uh, that's about it there. Next up, we'll uh, jump into the back end and uh, see what's going on here. So uh, we have the now the 5.15 kernel for Manjaro, whereas I've also got the 5.15 kernel for Kubuntu. So much of a muchness there, so it will support the same basic hardware and feature sets there too. Uh, let's see as well, so basically the same uh, KDE Plasma desktop environment there too. And last but not least, and always take these hardware figures with a bit of a grain of salt, but uh, let's have a look at the CPU and RAM usage on boot up. So they are both idling off the CPU, nothing uh, to write home about again too much there. Now let's see, so Manjaro is running at about 610 megabytes of RAM on boot up, which isn't too bad there at all. Whereas Kubuntu running at a little bit more, 670 megabytes of RAM, but I would say much of a muchness. Again, always take these figures with a grain of salt, but I just thought I'd quickly show you that there guys. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys, every single one of you there in the next one. Cheers.